Ah, coffee. Our trustworthy companion during the day. But who would have thought that at night this wonderful cherry would sneak its way into our martini glasses? Have you guessed already? Yes, I'm talking about the espresso martini today. And let's see how to make it. The espresso martini was created by the legendary London bartender Dick Bratzo. One night, he was approached by this supermodel slash actress and got a request for a drink that would first wake her up and then <laughs> Besides this, coming up with a drink on a whim, just on the point by such a random request is quite an incredible thing. I mean, the espresso martini is considered as one of the few modern classics. Originally, the cocktail was named the vodka espresso. After some time, it evolved to the more appealing name of the espresso martini because all drinks that were served in a V-shaped martini glass in those times were named martinis. It has nothing to do with the famous James Bond cocktail, the classic dry martini, or with the Italian brand. But that's enough of this, let's see how to make the drink. The first ingredient in our espresso martini is of course vodka, which by the way you can easily switch out with rum or whiskey to have a more rich and complex cocktail, but today we stick to the classic so we add 45 ml of Kettle One. The second ingredient is going to be this bad boy. This is going to be our coffee liqueur for today and it's made out of cold brew coffee in the heart of Copenhagen which is super famous for its coffee scene. Anyway, it has a very nice coffee aroma and a hint of vanilla. If you don't find this, it doesn't matter, you can always use Kalua or Tia Maria which are also great products and gonna serve you fine. Our third ingredient is simple syrup which you can either increase if you like it sweeter or you can remove it and as Tony loves it, add a dash of Shinar, which is an Italian herbal liqueur. We're gonna use 10 milliliters of simple syrup. Fourth ingredient is going to be the highlight of this cocktail and that is 30 ml of fresh espresso, which Dick Bratzel recommends to be as freshly brewed as possible because coffee loses its aroma over time. You could try using cold brew coffee instead. The result is going to be slightly different. You're not going to have the same silky texture, but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be delicious and that you're gonna like it. Time to shake this baby up using fresh ice and giving a nice good roll inside of the shaker. But before I shake it, I'm gonna ask you guys to give us a like if you enjoy what you see until now and subscribe to our channel for some future content. Thank you. Now time to strain our cocktail into the glass. I prefer to use a fine strainer because I love my espresso martini clean. Cocktail is almost done, just the final touch. Dick Bratzel garnished this drink with three espresso beans on top of this beautiful coffee foam. And this is how the espresso martini is done. Salute! Okay guys, we've done it. If your espresso martini looks like this, having this beautiful foam, then you have done a great job. As I've said before, you could use cold brew coffee, but then your texture is gonna be slightly different, but I'm sure your drink is gonna be delicious. Let me know in the comments how your drink is and have a nice sip. Ah, uh, coffee. Our... <laughs> What was it? Man, one, one letter in your <laughs> That's f***ed up! <laughs> Always make sure the espresso, I don't have energy. I don't have energy. Can we just do a small break? <laughs> what should I say? Be slightly different, but I'm pretty sure that you're still gonna delete the... It is gonna... Okay, we have done it. If your espresso martini has this beautiful foam on the top, then you've done a great... Not again! Very delicious results. Also... Espresso. Mm, no, no, not like this. Okay.